The following podcast is brought to you by Seek Fusion, developing components and controls for over 10 years and delivering innovation with ease. Syncfusion launched its succinctly series of ebooks last spring, and in that time, developers have lauded the insightful yet concise publications for helping them to better understand technologies such as HTTP, the Git repository, and Adobe's PDF. jQuery Succinctly, written by Cody Lindley, has proven to be a very successful title. Cody's latest contribution to the series, JavaScript Succinctly, promises to deliver the same exacting information that so many developers find useful. Syncfusion's Trey Watkins recently spoke with Cody about his latest title. Let's go ahead and just uh, now talk a little bit about the book. My first question is, um, you had written jQuery succinctly before, which was about jQuery, the jQuery library. Um, Now this upcoming book is about JavaScript itself. Um, Could you explain to me the importance of knowing jQuery and how that ties in to knowing JavaScript? Actually, I would probably say that that's reversed. The important part is knowing JavaScript and then knowing jQuery. Um, But obviously, a lot of people are coming to JavaScript through jQuery these days. Um, You know, I wrote that book really for that target, for those people that um, pick up jQuery. Uh, It's a very, a very uh, low curve as far as getting up to speed on it, implementing it, learning it. Um, But as soon as they want to do something more robust than simplistic DOM interactions, um, they need to start understanding what's going on behind the scenes. And JavaScript being, you know, a language based on objects, um, I decided to sit down and write a book that was focused on those objects. The, the purpose of the book was to turn somebody who knew jQuery into an actual JavaScript developer. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and in order to do that, we, we had to step back, I think, and and look at the nature of objects in JavaScript. And by doing that, by actually taking someone who was familiar with jQuery and making them more of a JavaScript developer, what were some, what are some things that that person can expect to do knowing more about JavaScript than he or she could do by just using jQuery alone? I think the, the place that most people are today that are jQuery developers or come to JavaScript through jQuery is they're asking themselves questions like, how do I now organize my code? Um, or, or how do I, I deal with large, large sets of data inside the DOM um, or inside my client-side JavaScript-heavy application? And I think by understanding JavaScript first, they're going to be able to um, take jQuery and take their knowledge of JavaScript and actually start bridging the gap between simple DOM interactions and complex uh, JavaScript applications. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about how the book is structured. Um, From beginning to end, could you walk us through um, the structure of the book and maybe comment a little bit as to what you were thinking as you were uh, creating this book? Sure. As I said, the the book's really, uh, it's coverage of the, um, the native objects in JavaScript. And I sort of uh, open up the book with just an overview of objects in general and sort of the facets of objects in JavaScript. And then I go into detail in each chapter um, about each of those objects. You know, I start out with the object object, and then I move into an array object and a function object and a string and a number burger. And I really just break down um, the nuances of each of those objects. Okay, well, Cody, thank you very much for meeting with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Again, the book is JavaScript Succinctly. It's available from Syncfusion at their technology portal, which you can reach by going to www.syncfusion.com. That's www.sync, as in sync, F-U-S-I-O-N, as in fusion.com. Cody, again, thank you very much for your time, and I'm sure everyone looks forward to reading the book. Great, thanks. You can find other titles in the Succinctly series at Syncfusion's technology portal. Look for two new eBooks coming this month. Topics will include Microsoft's Lite Switch and C++ for C-sharp developers.